Hello students. Today we will learn to frame interrogative sentences. Now read these sentences. Am I the monitor of the class? Second, are the peacocks dancing? Third, is it a rainbow? Fourth, was Ritika absent yesterday? Fifth, were you out of station last week? Sixth, can I sit with you? Seventh, may I help you? Eighth, will you stop talking? Ninth, are there too many mistakes in this essay? Tenth, am I old enough to drive a car? Now, all these sentences which I have read are questions. A sentence that asks a question is called an interrogative sentence. We put a question mark at the end of the interrogative sentence. Interrogative sentences ask questions. They begin with a verb and end with a question mark. Always remember that they begin with a verb and end with a question mark. Now, definition of interrogative sentence. The sentence which asks a question is an interrogative sentence. This kind of sentence usually ends with a note of interrogation that is a question mark instead of a period that is a full stop. An interrogative sentence can be either affirmative or negative. Example, do you want to go there? Did you see her? Have you watched the movie? Am I worried about you? Will it rain today? Is Viper a poisonous snake? Are you an honest person? These are all questions starting with a capital letter and ending with a question mark. Now, when the affirmative sentence contains the primary auxiliaries, that means the helping verbs like is, am, are, has or have, the interrogative sentence will begin with these words. For example, she is a doctor. This is an affirmative sentence. Now, when you change this into interrogative sentence, the is, that's a helping verb, will come in first. Will come first. That will become, is she a doctor? At the end, question mark. You start the interrogative sentence with a helping verb and end it with a question mark. Next example, they have a car. Here now again, the word help, have, that's a helping verb. You have to start the sentence, interrogative sentence with have. So, it will become have they a car? Or you can also frame it like do they have a car? End it with a question mark. Now, she is very clever. This is again an affirmative sentence. Now, when you have to change this in interrogative sentence, you have to keep in mind that is is a helping verb and you have to start the interrogative sentence with is. I of is will become capital. Now, is she very clear? And at the end, question mark. Next, she has many friends. Again, when you change it into interrogative sentence, you have to keep in mind that your sentence will start with the helping verb that is has. So, has she many friends? Or you can also frame it like that. She have many friends? Now, we put the helping verb before the subject to form interrogative sentence. Keep in mind that the helping verb is put before the subject to form interrogative sentence. Now, compare these sentences. First, Rekha is confident. Now, when you change this into interrogative sentence, it will become, is Rekha confident? Is is the helping verb and you have to keep in mind that you have to start the interrogative sentence with the helping verb of the affirmative sentence. Second, Shiva and Anju are late. Now, again, R is the helping verb. Keeping in mind that you have to start the interrogative sentence with the helping verb. So, the interrogative sentence will be R, Shiva and Anju late. Third, I am tired. Now, when you change this, M is the helping verb. You have to start the sentence with M. Am I tired? Fourth, Boys were excited. The helping verb is were. So, start the sentence. Were boys excited? At the end, 
Keep in mind you have to put a question mark. Next, they will obey the order. Now, will is the verb. Keep in, keeping in mind that you have to start the interrogative sentence with will. Will they obey the order? At the end, question mark. Six, he can solve this problem. Now, can is the verb. Keeping in mind that you have to start the interrogative sentence with can. Can you solve the problem? At the end, question mark. Now, in order to change an assertive sentence in simple present tense, remember, simple present tense into an interrogative sentence, we use do or does as the first word followed by the subject, verb and object. Note that we use do with I, you and plural subjects. Does is used with singular objects. You have to keep in mind that do or does are two verbs and now you have to uh, note that we use do with I, you and plural subjects and does is used with singular subjects. Now, now the form would be do oblique does plus subject plus present form of the verb. Now, again you have to keep one more thing in mind that when you change the assertive sentence into interrogative sentence, the main verb, that is, uh, main verb will come back to its root form while changing it into an interrogative sentence. For example, the cow eats grass. Now, here, the main verb eats has got S in it and it is in, because it is in simple present tense. So, while changing it in, into, into an interrogative sentence, We'll begin the sentence with does because it is in simple present tense and then e eats will become eat. So the interrogative sentence will become does the cow eat grass at the end question mark. Second, Alice sings a song. Now look at the main verb in the sentence that is sings. S is there in sing. So you come to know that is in, the sentence is in simple present tense. So you have to Keep this in mind that when you change the sentence into interrogative sentence, your sings will become sing and you have to start the sentence with does and end of the sentence you have to put a question mark. So, does Alice sings will become sing a song. Next, she gets up early in the morning. Now, get has got s. So, keeping in mind that your sentence will start with does and gets will become get in the interrogative sentence. Does she get up early in the morning? At the end, question mark. Next, I work hard. Now, I is there. So, you have to keep in mind that for I, we don't have to use does. We have to use do. Do I work hard? At the end, question mark. Next, she speaks English well. Now, speaks again has got S. So, you have to keep in mind that when you change this sentence into interrogative sentence, the S of speaks will be removed. Speak will come in its root form. So, does she speaks English well? Now, one more thing you have to keep in mind that for simple present tense, we use do or does. But if the main verb is in past tense, you have to use did. And keeping also in mind that the main verb will be changed into its root form. Now, read the sentences carefully. Number first, sorry, number one, he reads fluently. Does he read fluently? Now here, reads is in simple present tense. So we have used does and in read, we have removed the S. Second, I go to gym. Do I go to gym? I, we have to always use do with I and go since, since the main verb is in root form. So, we will not change this. Third, postman delivers our letters. Now, look at the main verb delivers. It will become deliver while changing it into interrogative sentence. And for postman, because it's a singular subject, so we'll use does. Fourth, the ma they manufacture wooden furniture. So, now again, they is plural. So, we'll use do with it. So, do they manufacture wooden furniture at the end? Question mark. Fifth, she saw the red fort. Now, 
Look at the main verb. The verb saw is in past tense. So, you have to use the word did before the noun. Now, that is the subject. So, when the verb is in past tense, keep in mind that you have to use the word did. Did she? Now, this word verb saw will again come back to its root form. Did she see the red fort? Six. We occupied our seats. Now, again, occupied, the main verb is in past tense. So, we have to use did. Did we? And occupied will be changed back to its root form. Did we occupy our seats? Seven. Issue gave me a book. Now, again, gave is in past tense. So, you have to use the word did before the subject. Did issue? Gave will become give. Did issue give me a book? Eight. He does his work. Now, the word does is in simple present tense. So, for does, we'll again start the sentence, interrogative sentence with does. Now, does he do his work? Now, two times we are not going to use does. So, we will use do. Does he do his work? Look at the sentence carefully again. He does his work. Will when you change this into interrogative sentence, it will be does he do his work? Because we are starting the sentence with does, and again you have to change the main verb into its root form. So does he do his work? Now note if the interrogative sentence is in the negative, we begin it with do not or does not. For example, don't you want to come with us? Doesn't she understand what he means? Now, when the affirmative sentence contains the auxiliaries, that is the helping verbs like can, may, will, shall, etc., the interrogative sentence will begin with these words. She can go will become can she go and at the end question mark. They will come. You change this into interrogative sentence. It will be will they come? You may take this book. Now, when you change this, it will become, may I take this book? You may take this book. So, you are asking, may I take this book? Now, can, I can lift this load. Now, again change it. Can you lift this load? Next, we must go there. Must we go there? Thank you.